Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today it's all about upcycling and not wasting. Now several of you have come at me and have asked if I could show interesting ways of using hydrangeas for a wedding. Well I hope I've got you covered. Today I'm going to show you also how to turn this gin bottle into a really lovely container. How cool is this? I love it. Now I do have to tell you that I am not an expert at cutting glass, but my engineer was very good at it and he used a diamond cutter, but I'll talk to you about that in a wee moment. So the hardest thing is to get rid of the label and I had to soak and soak and soak and soak, but I did get rid of it. But the other thing I love about this is that it's got all these beautiful little wee etchings or engravings down the side here, which I thought would be quite beautiful to add to the whole picture and story that we're going to create today. So once you've got your label off, put that to one side, here we are with the label. What I did was, and what I've since found out, um, we used the tile cutter to cut them in half, but um, you can go to the glazier and get the glazier to do it for you, which would have been so much easier because what I found was that this here's just a little bit rough around the edges, but you could sand that off, but even when I did sand it off, it still has left with a little bit of frosting, but hey, that's okay because you're not even going to see that. Right, the next thing to do is, to get your base, which I've got here, and I've left that little bit on there too because I just thought that that just added a wee bit more detail and some, just made it a little bit more authentic. Right from there, I'm using E6000, and I think I've told you this before, but I'll just reiterate, this is seriously toxic stuff, so be very, very careful with it, and if you are a little bit sick, just be careful when using it, and make sure it's in a well-ventilated environment. Right from there, all I did was, just get your trusty glue, push that around into that glue like that, and then that just gets pushed on top of that like that, and then just walk away and leave it. And I left mine for 24 hours to just make sure that it was seriously well connected. Right, so I'll just get rid of that for a minute, and then let's just look at wonderful things that you can do with just hydrangeas. First thing, put the water in. In fact, when I do setups, what I do is I'll do a mock-up and go, oh yeah, yeah, that's exact, that's how I'll do it. And then when you get to the venue or wherever you're going to place these, put them onto the table first so that they're all done and ready to go. Just a little bit of water into there. I just love this blue, it's gorgeous. Right, using the pale blue hydrangeas, take the leaves that are going to be beneath the water level off and decide at what height that you want them to be. Now, I actually would prefer these to be like little round balls at the top of the container. So take those off, gently push that into there like that. Lovely little, I, this is so gorgeous. I just absolutely love and adore them. And I think we might put three into there. Put one into there like that. And then let's just look at one that's a little bit lower. Here's this one, I'll use this one here and I'll just put a bit more water into, well, put water into that. And then I'll just make this, do one more, just so that you can see where I'm going with this. You could use lilies, but I just, at this time of the year, um, my hydrangeas are looking quite lovely, so I just decided that they would be the ones that I would use. So look at that, so a whole cluster of those together could be absolutely quite beautiful, and then if you wanted to, you could perhaps bring in and just leave it as it is and just put a flower into that. So how's that? Easy, easy designing. Those running along a table could look really, really beautiful and also a nice talking point at a table as a setting. Hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed showing you how to do that. See you another day. Thank you.